Hello all and welcome to the Z Hut. Today I'd like to show you how you can use an L7805 5 volt voltage regulator to power an Arduino project. Now I'm using a Nano in this tutorial but this will also work with Megas, Unos, any, any of the Arduino boards that require 5 volt power source. Now when you're using the Arduino plugged into your USB or using the voltage in and using the regulator that's built into the, the board itself, you don't get a whole lot of amps out of it. It's in the milliamp range. Now by using the 5 volt voltage regulator, you are getting about 1.5 amps, which will allow you to power a lot more things in a project. Now I just simply got a uh, RGB set up here flashing to show you that it works and I'm plugged into a wall wart. This is nine volts going in. Now this will work on you know, any voltage between seven volts and 15. Don't go over, and if you go under, you won't quite get five volts coming out of it. Now, the regulator itself is just this little chip right here, and you only need three components to set this up, just three the uh, L7805 and 2.1 microfarad capacitors. And you can use up to one microfarad, it should still work fine, and you could probably run a little under. It just works a little, it's a little stabler using the capacitors. I've actually used it without them, and it works, but uh, I do recommend the two capacitors in there. Now to hook this up, you simply with it facing at you like this, the pin on the left is the voltage in, the pin in the middle is the ground, and the pin on the right is your voltage out. And that's all there is to hook this up. And um, if you'd like to see a schematic of it, a picture showing this, I'll have that on the website. Uh, just look in the description below and you'll find a link to take you to this project's website. Now another thing as you can see, I don't have a heat sink on here because I'm only powering the Arduino and an RGB. It's not going to get hot. But uh, if you were drawing a lot more power, you'd probably want to put a heat sink on it. And you can order these, find them. You can just cut a little tab of aluminum and make your own. That'll work fine. But uh, I scavenge these out of old electronics. When I take them apart, I see a heat sink. I always keep them because they come in real handy, especially for this type of application. Well, with that, um, I don't think there's really anything else to go over. It's just a simple way to power your Arduino project. And like I said on the, the website, I'll have uh, a link to the uh, data sheet for this. And that has a little more info on it. And then I'll have a picture showing which... Uh, which of the pins is the in, out, and the ground. Well, I hope you found this information useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Would appreciate it very much. Hope to see you here again in another future episode of the Z-Hut. Have a great day and have fun building.